First of all, it contains caffeine. It's also high in antioxidants. It also contains something called GLP-1, which is favorable for management of blood sugar levels. Yerba mate, it turns out, has also been shown to be neuroprotective specifically for dopaminergic neurons. Ingestion of yerba mate and some of the compounds within yerba mate can actually serve to preserve the survival of dopamine neurons in both the movement-related pathway and the motivation pathway. If one were going to consume caffeine, you might consider consuming that caffeine in the form of yerba mate, both for sake of upregulating dopamine receptors and getting more of a dopamine increase, and of course, for the stimulant properties of caffeine, if that's what you're seeking. And in addition to that, because yerba mate does appear to have some sort of neuroprotective and in particular dopamine neuron protective properties. There's also evidence that two substances that greatly increase dopamine, namely amphetamine and cocaine, can cause long-term problems with the dopaminergic pathways. This is largely based on a study that was published some years ago, 2003, and the title of the paper pretty much tells the story. 